guys, Tuva here. It is Friday the 2nd of September and we are still a waxing moon in Scorpio. So there's not a lot really that I can add to that. Just remember that you have your feelings, your own way of dealing with things and the signs do affect us all. Even though they have that same aspect, everybody is different and everybody feels things differently. So let's now get on into the reading. Let's see, I've got a feeling we've got Odin, well the blank room, which is, as I always call it, Odin's rune. To me it is because Odin speaks to me through this rune, because it's blank and it can mean to different practitioners different things. This is Lagoose. Now Lagoose I always see as the hook that saves you. <laughs> the hook that's always there. It is the water room. Lagoose comes as a water, a lake, a lagoon, a sea, any form of thing. But it's also about cleansing and the tides. Life ebbs and flows and Lagoose is part of that. It also means a vital part of life, your life, a constant journey through life encounters, the risks that you take. And it moves, it's not static, just like your life changeability and a lack of control, which some people do not like because it represents madness, sexuality, unconscious, intuitive and psychic abilities. Amazing room of so many things depicted as the room of the female. I think because it has changeability and intuitiveness by attuning yourself, by knowing you, who you are, will your life truly flow. The emotional balance that comes from your harmony and your creations around you for you make your own life you are the one that decides what you're gonna do when you're gonna do it when you eat foods if you eat healthily then your body works beautifully if you eat badly it rebels on you and it does things to upset you and make you feel horrible and that is about disharmony the ebbing and flowing the tides it's about the cleansing and everything to do with water especially with the spiritual whatever it is that you practice guys takes emotion to make things happen every spell you do has an emotional side to it every prayer you make has an emotional side to it lagoose is like the hook that hangs on it helps you to realize what you've got it also saves you from yourself by hooking into the mountain that you're climbing for life is like a mountain that you are climbing but spiritually this room comes to tell you that you are moving and flowing. Everything is changeable. So whatever you're doing spiritually, you will attain it in time. So keep on at what you're doing. Keep going strong. That will have an effect on your life and those around you. It will have an effect on you physically, mentally and spiritually. You need to be flowing freely just like that so that you can have focus if there's changes going on guys you need to embrace it you need to allow it it's the only true constant in your life we also live with water within us have blood flowing through us and everything is attuned via the moon and because you're in connection with that you need to learn your emotions to get that harmony and once you've got that you'll be fine now I feel Odin is there but he's come through as the magical being as the Seder and the magic is life itself for Odin breathed life into you he allowed it and he is saying 
do not waste it. Do not waste that time that you have on thinking about things. Be motionless and you will destroy yourselves. Be fluid and you will accomplish stuff because that is how it is. And the gods always did it that way. They were reckless at times, but because they lived, they experienced and that is what he wants you guys to be doing with your lives the life that he breathed to you that he gave to you is now time for you to accept that breath and enjoy your life and to move in it and don't stay static and there you go that was from Odin today and I'm going to leave it there <laughs> so have a great weekend guys and wherever you are Whatever time of day, night or evening it may be, I wish you the best ever. Halsa the Lang.